What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great week. And welcome to this new video on storage. And uh, that's just what I'm going to call it. It's it's obviously some sort of a wordplay on storage. Um, but yeah, storage has been super bullish over the last not 24 hours. I mean, basically, this this whole rally practically started last Friday, and ever since. Uh, we have rallied as much as 125% a couple of moments ago because when I when I made the analysis on storage, 60 cents right here uh, was actually my price target. So we already hit that. Uh, so we'll have to do some some live analysis, but that's what what we'll do in this video. Uh, we'll do a full technical overview. I'll tell you what I think is going on with storage and what you can expect from here. Uh, because frankly, we're going to get huge volatility, big moves coming for storage very soon. Uh, and it's uh, now the only thing you need to know is which way those moves will be, right? So that's what we'll talk about. I'll try to prepare you as, as well as possible for, for everything that could happen. Uh, we'll start off with a little bit of an introduction of what's happening right now. Storage is massively manipulated. And um, it's, it's a solid project, to be fair, for the long term. But at this point of time, it's, it's very manipulated and I have proof for that as well. So that's what we'll go into at the beginning of the video. Then we'll talk about the technicals and whether we can actually get up to that next price target, which for me is this level right here uh, between 70 and 72 cents. So we'll talk about that before we dive into that. If you actually want to receive daily trading signals, as you can see from the top there, then check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment. And there you will find instructions on how to join. But down to storage. So first of all, I mean, the, the main reason for why I think storage is manipulated, apart from these moves without any fundamentals, is this volume. If you take a look at the volume, volume right now is amazing. It's around 620 million, which is also a little bit crazy. And if you take a look at where that's coming from, you can see that almost 60% is coming from up bit. Historically, if that much volume is coming from uh, the Korean markets, <clears throat> historically it's manipulated. Um, so what that means is it's not that that much, just that we're going to get big moves. Because that manipulation, frankly, that could mean that we will move up even higher. Uh, so that we'll break above 60 cents and get up to that price target around 70 cents and 72 cents. Or that could mean that from now we'll have a huge crash down to 40 cents and probably afterwards even all the way down to 34 cents. So now the big question is, what will happen? Well, the main thing we have to wait for is confirmation. All right, so right now what you can see is that our main support level with the 236 FIB, and it's the most recent resistance level we broke above, is this level right here at around 52 cents. To get some more, to, to be a little bit more conservative, you could say between 50 and 52 cents. This is our main support. And we already found some support there after the bearish momentum that Bitcoin got a couple of moments ago. Uh, so we al already found some support there. But now the big question is, is can we hold that? Because if we can actually hold this level, I would say for the next 24 hours, so that's, that's not that long, then I think we can actually break above 60 cents. And the moment we break above 60 cents, we're going up to 70. All right, that's something that is clear as day as me uh, to me, or at least it, it seems like that. So we'll have to wait for that, because if we can actually hold that, then great, we can actually get that bullish momentum. But if we get <clears throat> a bearish breakout through 52, 50 cents, I would say, <coughs> I would say 52 is already enough. But if we get that, that's bearish confirmation. And then we'll just take a bearish break retest and we'll move down to, like I said, 42 cents, 40 cents and 36 cents. So now it's waiting for that. And personally, I'm waiting for that to get into a trade and that's also the best thing you should do. I mean, right now, if you if you don't know how to do technical analysis, please don't trade storage. It's manipulated. Most people get wrecked. Uh, if you can wait for this confirmation and if you can spot it right or wait for this confirmation, then great. You could trade it at your own risk. Um, but uh, but for now, this is my full thoughts on storage. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.